In this video, we will understand how to make our Spring Boot application interact with MySQL database. So, for that, you have to mention some properties file properties in our Spring Boot application in resource file. So, I'm coming in source main slash resource and application dot properties. So here I mentioned the data source driver class name that, that is by default. If you are using MySQL, it will be remain same for that. And data source URL, this second line, I am using 3307 port number. It means it is not default port of MySQL database. I change it manually. So uh, it is better for you to check the which port number you are using for your database in order to connect. This is my username of database and the password root. It is my password. And these are the some MySQL properties which you should mention for that. I'm I'm using the server port 8010, but by default for Tomcat it is 8080. So whatever the port number you can use. Now I'm so that this is my username root and the local URL port number is 3307. If I will click here, it will ask my password. I will root. see. I'm successfully logged in here. So first I will suggest you to check the port number and then connect it will work for you. In next video I will try to create entity and check whether the table is creating in our database or not. So for now